Yeah, really looking forward to it, you know. Um, at the start of the year, I suppose it's the date that you kind of prepare for and everything's worked towards, you know. So it's good now that we're, we're into it, you know, the league's one thing, but it's all about the championship. So we played only golf four or five weeks ago in Ballybuffet in the National League and there's a considerable golf between us that day. Um, they were a better team all over the pitch and we've been working hard between now and then to try and close that gap and it's up to us and sending to me to, to show that we've closed that gap. Yeah, to be honest, that, that game's almost irrelevant. I remember in 2013, you know, we were well beaten up in Oma and the way we approached it after was, look, the league's the league, the championship uh, takes on a life of its own. And you know, that's the way we'll be approaching it on the day things went right for us. But we know we're going to get a huge challenge from Tyrone. They had a number of great results in the league. They, they drew with Dublin, they drew with Kerry, they beat Mayo, three of last year's All-Ireland semi-finalists. And you know, they're going to present a huge challenge. And what we've done in Ballabuffet won't count for anything. Over the last number of years, Donegal has seemed to get an upper hand on us. And uh, the reason why they get an upper hand on us on the day, they're a better team on every single occasion. There's no doubt about that. I know a couple of days it was tight. I know Penders had a chance one day and Durkin saved it. But ultimately, I think Donegal are a better team that day. And that's something we have to address. Yeah, it's, it's huge, you know. It was obviously, we've played each other a number of times the last couple of years. There's the local rivalry on top of it. And, you know, we're, we're drawn out at the very, very start of the championship. I think it's only New York and Galway. You know, I've played at this stage, we're in the preliminary round, we're not even in the first round proper. You get a sense that the championship hasn't even started and you could be out of it. That's the reality for both teams. So, look, everything's geared towards the try and to get, gain another four weeks, you know. It was great. It was great for the 21s. They're a fantastic bunch. There's something unique about that team. A lot of times over the course of the last three or four weeks, they've been put the pin in the collar and they never seem to panic. But uh, it's up to us now as seniors to, to, to bring the senior performance forward. And we'll introduce a few under 21s when the time's right. But, We've got, to, we've maybe got to take a step back and not put too much pressure on them and that we'll introduce them, we'll integrate them to the team that we have at the moment, which is a good team. The thing that you enjoy most is the training, preparing for games and analysing opposition and you know, generally coaching the players, trying to improve things. So it is, but there's a lot more organisation, a lot more communication with backroom, with players and one thing or another. But essentially, you know, when I took the role as manager, I wanted to stay a coach as much as possible and that's what we've done. Well, when we were growing up in 97 and 98, we had no expectancy. And we cried about that. We used to walk up the street and all the Bell and Derry boys and Derry boys would screw the windows down and shout out there's no salmon for own. And we used to shout about that. And since then we've done something about that. And now, like we didn't win that was all earnest, but a chain around the neck of the younger players now. We won that to be a, to enhance and improve football and throne. And our players have got to understand that. That we're in a better place now than we were back then. Um, but it's a different bunch of players. What X number of players done in the past doesn't matter now. It's up to these boys to make their own legacy now and how you make a legacy is you win football matches. While football's certainly on a high end on Egal, um, you know, we, we've known a lot of the young players that have been integrated with us the last number of years, you know, Martin Riley, or McNeilis, Hugh McFadden, Darrell Connor, Ray McHugh, Padma Bairdy. You know, they're, they're all either under 21 or just out of it and they've been involved with us. I think, uh, you know, the minors, um, we left them off to the under 21s, the boys were in the final, it takes a wee while to adjust to it, you know, but overall, you're right, there's a very positive feel to football in Donegal at the minute and there's a lot of exciting talent coming along. Aye, it's fantastic, you know, I grew up um, with Mickey as manager from early in, uh, early in minors back in 97, right through and, you know, you all looked him in awe and then to be standing with him along the line, it's something you only dream about. But that's a long word off. Now it's about winning football matches and um, we're really impressed with our players. Uh, me and Mickey, we're delighted with our players. We're a special bunch of players to with them every night of the week. We're as good as we were back then. Okay, we have no cups or trophies to prove that, but um, they're a fantastic bunch of players and it's only them that can cross the white line and it's up to them to start delivering performances soon. Injuries is always the thing that you fear most when you step up the training, when you add in the volume of uh, you know, increased training loads, club games, but touch wood, we've had a couple of wee niggles, we've no serious injuries at this point in time and we're hoping to be selected from a fully fit squad, so that's, that's a big benefit. Uh, it'll be as physical as, 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 as we, we make it, as physical as we bring to the table. Um, every championship game in Ulster is physical, every championship game in Ulster is very unique and I suppose the same thing to me will be no different. Well, I know for one thing I'll be leading the team in Battle Buffet, you know, anything after that is a bonus, you know, we can't look any further than that. But you're right, it's a, it's a special time. I think everybody looks forward to it. Um, yeah, there's something exciting about Ulster, with that there's so many teams can win it. Obviously, you, you, you have big derby matches, you have a lot of the, the top teams in the country um, involved in it. So that's, that leads to huge excitement, but unfortunately, we can only look at Tyrone now and Sunday week.